Hey guys, like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, how are you? Today is, I have no idea what day it is because I'm filming it in April, but you're seeing it in May. Um, this is a little bit of, not a different video because I do reviews, but I am trying to do this as like something that happens weekly on my channel. So not like a, not like a series per se, but videos that I put out each week. So I guess a series. It is a series of products that I try for you so you don't have to. Things that you've asked me to try, things that people have sent me to try. First type of product is going to be a cookie, specifically, these cookies. So these are Kiss My Keto Keto Chocolate Chip Cookies. I'm so excited for these. I have high hopes for them. I really do. Now, these were sent to me by Kiss My Keto. I am an affiliate with them. I have never had them though. So you're seeing like my actual first reaction. So we are looking at two servings per container, 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 12 carbs, five fiber, one sugar alcohol, three protein. They also, also have four grams of allulose. So all together, each serving is two grams of net carbs. So what is that? Five, yeah, so five from the fiber, one from the sugar alcohol, and four for the allulose. They are sold in packs of two. You can either get a butter cookie or a chocolate chip cookie. They sent me chocolate chip. God. And the two pack is $9.99, which I didn't think is horrible for these. Ingredient wise, it's a little bit long, but nothing that you don't normally see in keto products. So it's almond flour, butter, allulose, soluble tapioca fiber, chocolate chips, natural flavor, eggs, MCT oil, baking soda, guar gum, xanthan gum, salt, and monk fruit, monk fruit extract. So it's all stereotypical keto product or keto, keto ingredients. Let's tear it open and see what it's all about, shall we? Oh, okay. Oh, they smell really good. They definitely look different than I pictured them to look. I pictured them to be more of like a famous anus or a high key type, type cookie. So these are flatter and what appear to be like crunchy cookies, but they also feel like they could be chewy. All right, so they're very flat which is fine. They look buttery, they look, it's weird, they look crunchy, but they also look chewy. Let's, let's, let's try. They just kind of smell like, um. oh, they smell like almond flour and butter, to be honest, but let's give it a go. Um. They're okay. Let's try another one for you know. Good measure. The chocolate chips are good. All right, how do I feel about these? They're okay. I don't necessarily know if I would purchase these. Just because of the flavor profile, they don't taste like a chocolate chip cookie to me. They taste like a butter cookie that you put chocolate chips in. A chocolate chip cookie needs brown sugar. These do not have any type of that molassesy, dark sweet sweetness, and I'm missing that with these. It's it's a good cookie. I think if these had pecans in them, oh my god, that is what they smell like. They smell like they smell like those Keebler pecan pecan, however you want to say it. Um, Sandies. That's exactly what these smell smell like. That is exactly what they are. Um, I think if they added added nuts to them, they would probably be a little bit better. Um, give it a little bit more oomph. I don't hate them. If you gave them to me and they were like, you were like, this is a keto snack, I'd be like, all right, all right, all right, I'll take it. I like the texture a lot. This is how I like a cookie to be. It's a little bit crunchy, but mostly chewy. I'm here for that. For that. I thoroughly enjoy that aspect of it. So if these type of cookies seem like something you would enjoy where it's like a little bit crunchy, a little bit chewy, 
kind of like a butter cookie, kind of like a chocolate chip cookie, and you want to give them a shot, there will be a link down below where you can purchase them and save a little bit of coin. Um, they do have other products on there. They have beef broth and ramen noodles and all kinds of stuff. Um, I do have another product to try from them. That would be a different video. But let me know if you guys are going to try them out down below. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give them like a 6.5, 7. Um, just based on the fact that it's not like a true chocolate chip cookie to me. Um, it's, it's a butter cookie with chocolate chunks in it. And I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad thing. It's just don't label it that way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So let me know down below if you were going to give them a shot or if you order anything else from Kiss My Keto and you would like me to give it a shot because you like it, let me know. I will reach out to them, see if they want to send it or I will just order it depending on what it is. All right, guys, remember, I don't like their bars, so don't send me their bars. Like, I, when I talked to, to the girl at Kiss My Keto, I was like, for the love of God, don't send me the bars. Like, they, they will be chucked out the window. Gross. Blah, blah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like this kind of a series where I just review one single product and let you know what I think of it, whether it is good or bad. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.